We've all been in a Zoom meeting where someone's tried to share a video and they've failed. Either you can't see it, hear it, or it just doesn't play back smooth. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to share video on Zoom or play it on YouTube so that people can hear it. And I also give tips to make sure people can see it properly with butter smooth playback, just the way it should be. If your viewers are then still having problems with jerky playback, stick around, because later on, I'll show you an underused method that you can use to get around this jerky playback problem. Okay, let's get started by jumping straight into a test meeting. The first thing you wanna do is come on down to the share screen button. And if your meeting host hasn't enabled it, they'll need to enable it for you to be able to click this. The two main situations where you'll be wanting to share video is when you either have a video on YouTube ready to go that you wanna play out, or you have a video on your hard drive or your computer that you wanna show in the Zoom meeting. Regardless of which, you'll always want to select optimize screen for share video clip. That's pretty self-explanatory, but Zoom will do things in the back end to make sure that the video plays back as well as possible. And we'll get to that a bit more later on. You'll also notice that the checkbox for share computer sound automatically selected when I chose optimize screen share for video clip. This will make sure that the computer sends the best possible sound over the Zoom feed. If you don't click it and the sound plays, what will happen is that sound will go through the speakers and back into the microphone and it will sound really low quality. If you prefer to narrate over the video without any sound from the video playing, then you wanna deselect share computer sound. But here I'll be wanting to share computer sound, so I'll select that again. So we'll go over sharing a video that's already on YouTube. It's a good idea that before the meeting, you load up the video inside a browser and queue it up to the point that you wanna play it from. I prepared one for this session, so I'm gonna select my Google Chrome browser and hit the share button. A quick tip here, Zoom will always deliver smoother playback of videos to your Zoom meeting participants when you have the video playing full screen. So let's click that one first. Then you wanna come over to the volume control area. It's better to tweak the audio levels here rather than turning the volume up and down on your speakers. Let's just play out a small segment. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and read the manual so I know how to use this thing and I'm gonna go out and test this out and get back to you in just a minute. First, you'll wanna download the native DJI OM app. It's called DJI Mimo. And then you can just roll off the volume as you see fit so that you can talk over. A quick tip, when you're sharing a video in Zoom, you'll notice you can't see your video thumbnail nor anyone else's in the Zoom meeting, but you can turn this on. Go through the green area of the share screen panel, click more, then select show video panel. And then you can just disable it again by coming up to the top and pressing the hide video panel. Next I'll show you how to share video on Zoom with smooth playback using QuickTime Player on the computer. So we'll hit share screen again. And then we need to check again that both of these boxes are checked. Again, it's a good idea to load up that video inside your player so that it's queued up and ready to go from the point that you wanna play it from. If you're on a Mac, I recommend using QuickTime Player or if you're on Windows, just using Windows Media Player. So go ahead and click the player that you've loaded your video into and then hit share. Again, the first thing you wanna to do to help deliver smooth playback is to go to full screen mode. Then go ahead and select the volume that you want, either low volume if you wanna narrate over the top or go high volume if you want the video to feature. Then just go ahead and click the play button and let the video play out. As before, if you're narrating, just keep the volume down. But if you want to play the video with sound, just dial up the audio like so. It's a bit of a bumpy ride because you're moving around and the gimbal is trying to lock on at the same time as rotating around. And you can see here, it's just not that smooth. You have a few options. And then just dial it all the way back when you want to narrate again. If you want to stop sharing the video early, you'll need to make sure you press the pause or stop button. Otherwise, when you click the stop share button, it will continue playing in the background. So we'll click the stop share button and then come back to your meeting. I hope you're enjoying this video and getting some value out of it. And if you are, please give us a thumbs up below and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. I've done a whole range of how to use Zoom videos in the playlist right here. I've also got a bunch of gear review videos to help you level up your video skills. If your viewers or students are having problems with video playback not playing smoothly, it's usually because of two main reasons. The first is if you're trying to play a video from your computer and you have unreliable internet, it's gonna play back quite jerky on the other people's computers. Or second, maybe your viewers have a bad internet connection, so no matter what you do, the video is not gonna play back smooth. Now there's not much we can do about the second problem, 
but if it's you that's got the unreliable internet, there is a small workaround we can do to help deliver smoother playback for your viewers or students. So let's jump back into the share screen area to learn how to do that. For this method, we're first gonna click into the files section and we're gonna be sharing the video through one of these cloud storage options. I recommend Google Drive because Google Drive uses the YouTube platform to deliver the video and that's gonna be the best for playback and smooth playback. Instead of using Google Drive itself, you can actually just upload to YouTube if you've got a YouTube account and play the video back just like I showed you in the first method. But if this is a one-off or you wanna keep things more secure and private, I'd recommend just using Google Drive. So once you've loaded up your video into Google Drive, and if you don't have a Google Drive account, it's easy to create a Google account and I've got a video which you can check out up here which shows you exactly how to do that. The reason this method helps with playback is because the video is already living up on the internet and it's not requiring your internet's bandwidth to upload the video to then serve it out via Zoom. So it kind of works around the bottleneck of your internet speed and make sure that the people viewing are gonna have a better viewing experience. Now this is all great in theory, but there are just times where a video just won't play smoothly for whatever reason. But yeah, this is the best workaround that I can offer you. So assuming that you've preloaded the video up onto Google Drive or one of these other platforms, all you have to do is after checking you've selected both these boxes, you select Google Drive and hit the share button. Zoom will then go ahead and ask you to give permissions to allow access to Google Drive. Then just log in, do your I'm not a robot check, Oh, palm trees, just like my shirt, hey? Makes me wanna go on a tropical destination holiday. And then just click authorize. Give access to the Google account you wanna connect and click allow. Then you'll have access to the Google Drive account, so open your video. As before, select full screen mode for smoother video playback so that when you share video on Zoom, you'll have smoother playback for your recipients. Then come over and select your volume control. As before, depending on the delivery style that you wanna have, Select the point in the video that you want to play and then play the video out. The subjects and movements faster to add a level of action to the scene. Let's just turn that volume down. And that's how you share videos living on your computer on Zoom using Google Drive. Nice and easy. A quick mention on using videos inside PowerPoint. I recommend you have a decent internet speed to make sure that when you play that video inside that PowerPoint slideshow, it plays back smooth enough. As an alternative, you can also host that on YouTube or Google Drive so that when you get to that point in the presentation, you can easily share it. And I recommend you do it on YouTube because there can be a few steps involved to allow access for Zoom to your Google Drive to play your video inside there. Now that you're a pro on how to share video on Zoom, watch this video next where you'll learn everything else there is to know about the share screen feature in Zoom. And remember, sharing is caring, and so is the thumbs up button below.